light glass, we're going inside the Barry Lights Telescope and I'm gonna give you a tour from front to top. All right, so we come in and uh, yes, master important. So besides all the millions of security systems we've turned off, close this front door. So we're entering the Lights Telescope building, and uh, the first thing you'll see is a bunch of stars here. These are different folks that have contributed uh, funds to running the telescope over the years. Um, on the left, you'll see the control room. So this is downstairs from the telescope. Now this is the computer that actually controls the telescope from downstairs. This computer over here uh, is the sort of auxiliary computer, and this is the one to look up things like the uh, positions of the stars we expect to see in the sky, etc. So that is the control room. Importantly, microwave, refrigerator, standard in every observatory because usually you're here for a while. All right, so we're leaving the control room. And over here, you see some mention of the fact that the Apollo astronauts, such as uh, Neil Armstrong, came here to look at their landing sites on the moon. Um, here's an image taken by Steve Tegler of the Messier 3 object, one of the ones that we may look at in one of our upcoming labs. And, oh, bathroom, very important. Can't have too much without that. Um, the dedication plaque, 2008. Just walking around for a second. So just to recap, we are in the BLD, lots of history here, there's a giant base, and we're gonna actually go into the door that has the stairway. So there's an antechamber here, or vestibule, whatever you wanna call it, that um, has a separate red light that we use for um, making sure the light doesn't go upstairs. So you go in here first, you close this door before you open this other door. Um, these are like submarine stairs, we've got some red lights there. The red lights are to keep the eyes from losing their um, night sensitivity and also, most importantly, from disrupting the telescope operation. Now we're up here in the dome. We have a flight light on, that's not normally on. There's a telescope underneath the cover with this beautiful NAU base. You'll notice uh, that the dome is metal framed and there are barcodes all the way around it, just like you would see in a supermarket over and over and over and over. Um, and we'll talk about that in a second. The opening of the telescope dome is here, and we'll show that also in a moment. But first, just another quick round the room. So this is the control computer upstairs, which is mirrored with the one that I showed earlier downstairs in the control room. more parts, important things. This is a ladder that you'd use to actually take this cover off, um, which I'm not going to do just because I'm by myself. That's a safety issue. Lock here. This actually takes you outside. So if you go through here, you're in the outside world. There's the ROTC, dorms, etc. Here 
Um, we do have a shade. Um, you'll see the shade right here. There's a control buttons. And it raises the shade up. Now, why would you want that? Um, one of the reasons is that if we go outside, you'll notice that they installed housing right here. Now, that housing, unfortunately, means that lights from cars go up into the dome. So this helps block a good amount of that light so it does not hit the entrance to the telescope over there. All right, so recall we're in the dome and it's open and maybe we want to move it. So how does that work? Well, normally it's done automatically, but we do have this feature here on the computer that lets us control it. So we're gonna say dome right. And the whole dome starts moving right. Now you can tell from the speed, it's, gonna, it's not gonna be like zipping around at 100 miles an hour. When we're done moving it, uh, I'm gonna hit stop and it stops. And if I want it to go back or to its normal position, I just wait park, and it takes it back to where it is supposed to be. Still moving left, whole massive structure is moving. And when it gets in exactly the right spot, you can see the little barcode reader here moving. Beep, beep, beep. It has found the right barcode. It stops the whole dome. I'm gonna pop underneath this right here and take a look inside. So this is the actual telescope. It's an open truss. That means that there's no coverings on the side of the tube. Um, it helps with weight and everything. You don't need those covers. Um, you'll notice that the primary mirror has a cover over it. That is to keep it safe. Um, in addition to this covering here, um, it's important that that stays on while we take this uh, cover off, etc., to keep it safe. That secondary mirror is mounted at the top. So the light comes in through that opening in the hole, the ring at the very top, bounces off that primary mirror, goes up to that secondary mirror, then bounces again and goes through. And as it goes through, you can see what's attached right now is actually an eyepiece. Now at the other end of this telescope is some business that you don't want to get hit with, and that is the weights, the counterbalancing weights. Those things weigh a lot, and it moves as the telescope moves around. This is a German equatorial mount. Um, it has one feature, which means that once it gets to be pointing towards the very top of the telescope, you have to flip around to the other side. Um, we will probably encounter that during our evening. It does have manual control to actually move the telescope around, which is convenient. Um, but we'll be doing all of our controls from that same computer desktop you saw earlier, which is mirrored downstairs. So this is the Barry Lutz telescope itself. I'm gonna close the dome and show you what that looks like. That's closing the Barry Lutz Telescope Dome. Just a quick look from the outside of the dome. Yes, there's a ladder. No, we're not climbing it. Um, in theory, you could use that for maintenance. Um, this is the view that you get from this outside platform. People often wonder what this is. This is uh, part of the solar observatory that we're not using at the moment. And uh, we have control to turn off this light over there, as well as our OTC lights.